Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We have Arda Turtle starting in the upper hand corner, starting as the Grey Zerg, bottom left hand corner. We have Sva starting as the Orange Terran. And this is from the New York LAN, Starcon New York LAN. Again, I need to figure out like an official NYC LAN, whatever. I am excited about this game in particular because Art of Turtle, I feel like, is one of the. This is my take on Art of Turtle. I feel like Art of Turtle is a really good player. And if he can get his Overlord movement a little bit more under control, I could see him accelerating and going very, very deep in the future. And a regular BSL contender, um, part of Team Ash. And he's one of those guys that I'm like, yeah, this is a. It's one of those things where I don't want to say where the line of good is, but I want to say that Art of Turtle is good and people above him are also good and people around his area are good. This is where I feel, how do I put this? This is where I feel like good StarCraft starts, really enjoyable StarCraft about around Art of Turtle's level. And he's going to go up against Sva. I'll say like lower level, it's like, how do I put this? I don't think just below Art of Turtle's Chobu League by any manner. But I do feel like below, like significantly below Art of Turtle is Chobo League, and then it's like more casting for memes. When I'm casting at Art of Turtle's level, I feel like, okay, now I'm casting a serious game with serious contenders. Does that make sense? I keep wanting to say this in a way that doesn't sound like I'm crapping on people or whatever, or saying that someone's bad or whatever. What I'm trying to say is, is Art of Turtle produces good StarCraft, and I feel like all of these guys are around that level or above. Um, and hopefully Art of Turtle will hear that and appreciate that comment and not feel like, Oh, you think Gypsy's better than me? Or something along those lines. And I, and sorry, Art of Turtle, I do. But, um, yes. Anyway, Sva, also in our Tosis admin, you'll see him in the free-for-alls there quite often. Also a formidable player. But point being, I'm excited to see his games in, in particular. I enjoy casting him as an up-and-coming American Zerg. I actually got to hang out with him. Uh, at the collective, la the we all got an Airbnb for the LAN, and he was at the Airbnb with me. Actually, ended up bringing in some uh, base pro gear, unofficial sponsor of New York LAN. So check them out, and if you can somehow comment that Brood War sent you there, I'm sure that'll be something. But anyway, looks like we have gas opener for Sva, so he's going to potentially go for a one one one. Maybe see if he can catch Arter Turtle off guard. I like that build opener on a four-player map in particular. In the meantime, Art of Turtles opened up for two hatcheries, so he's already going along that line. Sva getting to work in the drone line. Few extra, a few too many drones pulled there to help deal with it, but extra shots taken. And this could be trouble for Art of Turtle because he hasn't sent out additional, it looks like he wants to scout with Zerglings, and as a result, this could be, never mind, the drone wandered up. Marine got a single kill, but from his perspective, this is just going to look like a standard Marine build opener. He might be a little bit thrown off guard that there's more than one Marine. He has produced extra Zerglings, I think, in anticipation of that. He's also teching to Lair, but he needs to get those Zerglings down there ASAP. One disadvantage of going mech on this map is the length of it means that if the Zerglings can get in position and see that Vulture come out immediately, Anywhere down here, he should have plenty of time to adjust, but look at this, Sva being extra creative, gonna go ahead and try to sneak a starport as part of this 1-1-1 one, 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 one build at the three o'clock location. So Vulture starting to wander out, an SCV on forward location dropping a bunker, and now the Zerglings have spotted it. And because this is cross position, the Zerglings also harassing a decent amount, got a bit of damage. There's plenty of time, well, theoretically plenty of time, for Arter Turtle to go ahead and get that creep colony down. He needed to drop that as soon as he spotted, though. So now I'm a little bit concerned that he's not going to have time to get... If he had dropped it immediately, I think he would have been okay. But now it's going to be a little bit more of a struggle. But you can see the Vulture making its halfway across. The Sunken Colony morphing right here. A Zergling and a drone hanging out on the ground. And it looks like we do have a Hydralisk then being dropped. Rat so interesting. Moved to Hydralisk rather than Spire in response. There, the Sunken Colony is up, the Vulture has held short, a lot of Zergling kills, but Art of Turtle's not out of the woods yet with that Sunken Colony in front. It, it still is very, very possible to shoot the gap, and you can see a lot of drones pulling off for Art of Turtle right this second until he gets a few, looks like Hydralisks built. He's reserving, having a little bit of trouble. This might be land nerves because this is their opening game as well. Might be having a little trouble moving as many troops as he was hoping, but wants to make sure that run by 
isn't going to be solidified. Engineering bay dropping. It looks like a command center being built behind this for Sva and that first wraith making its way out. And this is certainly going to tax Art of Turtles multitasking. Keep in mind, wraith are, are very, very fragile. So it takes a long time to even get a drone kill and drones do not have a lot of health. So no drone kills thus far. The wraith going to go ahead and have to push out of this. The hydro is also able to shove, move forward. It looks like they're going to go ahead and engage the vultures initially managing to keep that overlord alive and that is huge this overlord needs to beware though and now all of a sudden art of turtle with a modicum of map control might even be able to go ahead and grab a third he's getting hydralisk speed behind this the wraith moving out a second factory being dropped with a siege tank and mine upgrade as well Sva going ahead and getting that transfer so now also i should mention Sva 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 it's Sva 3 Chat's pointing that out in the background. Follow up with Spire. Now this turns into a macro war. Who can get more done? And at what timing? Second gas has been dropped from Art of Turtle. So it looks like he might just want to go ahead and stick to two bases. And with that, usually what you'll see is at least a drone per patch. Never mind, he's grabbing that third. At least a drone per patch and some movement from there. A dropship being built from, Art, uh, from Sva. So following this up with maybe a vulture drop, we'll see if this is successful. This is interesting play. Might spot that hatchery on his way in and need to drop short, but additional vultures are being produced. And I'm a little bit surprised he went with the mine upgrade. Mines are very good for map control out here, but not the best when they're dropping in where vulture speed is a little bit more effective at moving against smaller hydralisk numbers between the natural and the main but hydralisk speeds also upgraded so i think this dropship is gonna i don't know about this uh, engagement here with the dropship we'll see if it pays off for spot for spot regardless second machine shop being dropped which suggests we're gonna see maybe more of a tank composition for spa overall he does need to be concerned about potential air counters overlord seeing that starport lifted off and moving out of position and a third factory dropping. Usually you'll see a push towards Goliath at this stage. A fourth factory as well, and the armory not even up. This is kind of scary territory for Sva. If Art of Turtle, yeah, he's got some mutilists already out in flight. And I don't think Sva has sufficient anti-air with the number, he has, what, that one wraith that died earlier? Is it still alive? The dropship moving its way across, but we still have Hydralisks on patrol along the lower edge. So Art of Turtle anticipating this, and this is, even with these four Hydralisks, there's no anti-air right now for Spa whatsoever. And I don't think he has, yeah, he does not have an armory to produce anti-air otherwise. So now he's going to end up losing mining at his main, and Art of Turtle, nice recognition that, okay, hey, you really don't have anything to cope with this. And so going to be able to stop this, these uh, Desperation SCVs trying to get missile turrets up and just devastating damage the drop landing in the meantime but immediately being scooped up and there's a mutilist that's going to hunt that down and Sva has to call GG good play from Arter Turtle to start I'm getting oh I have Sva in chat right here he's letting me know that uh, he actually told the armory to build a couple times and it is the classic Terran didn't build problem and so ended up getting Heads up, I gotta say, heads up to Art of Turtle, though, for recognizing the lack of anti-air and capitalizing on, uh, capitalizing on it. So game one in the bucket, moving on to game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.